You ain't playing map games in a crack den. I don't know what you doing. Yeah. <laughs> the Zulu. They 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 won the poll. Party time, let's fucking go. No worries though, I'm gonna do all the countries in the list, uh, just Zulu first, uh, you just stay, stick with me. I did something kind of special in this one. I did it in multiplayer, to make it more crazy, more zany, so it wasn't just like the Zulu sitting there for a while. And I think it turned out better doing it that way. In my opinion, in my opinion, I could be wrong, it could be terrible. It's up for you to decide. Not gonna lie, I'm happy this was multiplayer because as the Zulu, I made no money, so it was kind of cool to, you know, talk to people while I was going bankrupt, so I wasn't, like, alone in this giant disaster that was the Zulu economy. Apparently, people aren't buying sheep as much as they used to. This world is changing. What's wrong with it, man? They all got their fancy machine parts and their canned goods. Ain't nobody got time to herd sheep, especially not in the traditional sense. The world the Zulu grew up in. It's gone. So what I did, I bought as many soldiers as I could before uh, I hit rock bottom. So at least I had an army. They weren't getting supplied or anything, but they were bodies, so that worked out. I got a break here. This clan, England actually didn't wipe them out for some reason. They usually do. So I kind of went in there and I, uh, you know, I took their sheep. That's all I'm going to say. I didn't even look if they had sheep. I just invaded them because I don't care, honestly. I, I just did it because I can and because if I don't, I'm fucked. This land had to be cursed or something because uh, we just lost so many people due to attrition. Like, y'all guys live here. How y'all guys taking attrition? You aren't even a professional army. Y'all guys are like the, the peasant mob units. Like, like go live off the land or something, bro. Like, don't... Why are you looking at me dying, bro? Make a ham sandwich or something. Right after we got that land, the boar split us in half. And then I guess half my army went with them. Maybe, maybe because the boar were gonna feed them. I don't get the money, bro. That's a luxury here. We eat what we can get, man. That's what we're stronger for. We have better attitudes, too. Yeah, as soon as the boar got that land, I decked on him immediately. I said I was gonna be friendly, but I kind of lied, all right? Sorry, it sucks to suck, okay? Like, boo-hoo, go cry about it. I'm making no money. So I think y'all guys can live with being annexed, all right? I kind of was a bad guy, actually, because I invaded them. But I had no money, so... Sorry, haha. <laughs> we got no food, we can't afford that, haha. <laughs> AI England and a player-led France, they were in a little war, and I was like, I'm an opportunist, that's what I was like. As I was doing my uh, dirty trick, the the Dutch, they landed. They, they, they were nation running me for no reason, like, what did I do, bro? Then this homie decked on me, like, bro, I feel so betrayed, like, I don't know if I can trust him no more. The Ottomans were trying to sphere me, so they came and they helped me out. They're like, all right, I'll protect you. Thank you to the Ottoman Empire. Sadly, though, the Dutch ran me down and killed my only unit, and I could build no more because I was poor. But it's okay, the Germans decked on them, and let's just say, bad things happened to them. That's all I'm going to say. And we won our war, so I got more land in South Africa. So it, it was uh, not a total loss, all right? The only war I could do afterwards was the, just this one war right here. That was it. Because I had no soldiers and I couldn't recruit anymore because I had no money, like I said. Fucking Montenegro, like the player playing them, they were able to get more provinces than me, like... Come on, man. It ain't fair. Now, gentlemen, I'm about to show you a real exemplary re 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 piece of diplomacy in the hit game Victoria 2 on Steam by Paradox Interactive. The United States was at war with itself in a nation divided from the hit DLC, A House Divided, by Paradox Interactive on Steam, $10. France and Austro-Hungary were watching from across the sea as the United States battled itself. They asked the United States to let the Southerners remain free and determine their own destiny. The United States declined their offer and decided he was going to fight the Civil War. So France and Austria, they planned in darkness to send troops to America to end the Civil War. This plan was a go. The United States asked its allies, Germany and the Zulu nation, to join them. The Zulu declined because they did not want to fight because they had no soldiers. They did not wish to be a casualty of this war. Germany told them, hold on a second bro, I'll think about it. While Germany considered the offer, the United States, France and Austro-Hungary duked it out in the Civil War. Although at first they were losing, Austro-Hungary and France made some victories and were starting to turn the tide of the Civil War. With its troops stuck in New Orleans, the United States 
was desperate, and that's when the Kaiser of North Germany joined the war on the side of the United States and launched a surprise attack on Austro-Hungary. The Austro-Hungarians were pushed all the way back to Vienna within weeks and were looking for a way to end this war with Germany. Under the table, Austro-Hungary and France were planning to give California to Zululand because it would be really funny. But they decided not to because they're losing and they're like, hey, hey, hey guys, let's all have a status quo. And that's what they did. I'm not doing that voice anymore. And yeah, the Civil War ended with the Confederates existing and the United States existing. And then they, uh, they had a lot of revolts and it was very bad for them. We had a player on the Confederates and he sent this to me. That poor guy. I finally got my economy going. I guess we found some resources, so it worked out for me. I got one soldier. I invited my homies over. We got some land. Yeah, we're chilling, bro. Everyone is having a great time. Except the CSA, for they're having a one-on-one -on -one with the United States. They agreed that they were going to fight each other one-on-one -on -one with no allies, so they broke all their alliances. Well, the CSA broke all their alliances, but the United States didn't. So they invited in all of Central America, Liberia, Argentina. It's pretty sad. On the bright side, I became westernized, so that's awesome. Like, that, that's cool. That's really great. I'm happy that happened. Yeah, up to this point, I was just kind of spectating. I wasn't even playing the game, really. I was just watching as everything cool was happening around me. Yeah, yeah it was it was a bad time. I had to bully other people. I decided I was going to get rid of all the other uncivilized guys around me because I was angry. Not angry at them. Angry in general. Like, why, why did I play this long as the Zulu? Why? I even decked on Portugal because, uh, fuck it, bro. Why not? I'm after everyone i was gonna deck on korea well i did deck on them but it got postponed because uh we had a china player and he uh, decked on the french player and they had a war and they called the zulu win the eternal korean zulu war many zulu even died battling in china so poor one for my fallen zulu brothers i miss them already i also had to help out france in another war i had to use my uh zulu fleet to help them out and in return they helped me get korea so it worked out but what did paradox mean by this well, I'm getting kind of hungry after that. I'm gonna go and uh, get me something to eat now. You know, I sure am hungry. That's what I am. I'm hungry. Hungarian? Hungry, yeah. Actually, you know what I like to do? When I'm driving to McDonald's, I like to keep myself on edge. So, sometimes I play some music to keep myself on edge. So, I'm never caught laxing. All right, all right. I'm on my phone right now. I got one hand on the wheel, and I got my phone here. So, I'm gonna try to... Cue up some driving music. I always listen to this when I'm going to McDonald's. Let's fucking go! <laughs> I am the Big Mac. I'm hamburger. Ow! Fuck! Trying to get some gas right now. Welcome to Roblox. How y'all doing? Yo, I ain't got no legs, bro. I'm the man with no legs. Well, I don't have a wallet, because I don't really have any legs, but... Can I get some milk here? Like, I want this chocolate milk. Y'all alright with that? Like I said, I ain't got no money. Uh, we can barter for it. You got any ginger ale? Hey, if I find my legs, I'll pay, alright? Yo, there's a whole goose back here. Yo, you mind if I trade this goose? Yeah, I'll trade this goose for some milk, like, it's gotta be worth, like, $20 at the very least, so, milk, what is it, $8? Yeah, I think we can make a trade. $8 for some chocolate milk, what does the world come to, man? Like, it's, uh, it's crazy out of here. $8? Who's getting robbed here? Me. I'm getting robbed. Yo, that girl was looking at me kind of strange, like, real weird. I think she had a thing for me or something, I don't know. She never seen a guy with no legs before, that's all I'm saying. What's going on? Oh shit! Drunk drivers, really? I thought we stopped doing that in 2010. Now we with the Blair Witch, you're gonna give me them Blair feet. That's what I'm saying. I'm not like that. I'm not like that. That's the witch. That's the woods talking. Not me. Yeah, I kind of broke the game. What is going on? I wasn't supposed to do this, but we're playing Skyrim right now. Alright, I gotta say something right here. This tree? Damn it. This tree right here? It's the most lively tree I've ever seen in my entire life. You, did you grow this beautiful tree? Well, if you did, I want to shake your fucking hand. It's him, my summer car. How are you doing? What a beautiful car. Having dinner with that nice man. I, I raised a good car. 
Did I miss something? Did Steve Irwin get revived or like, is this the rapture but for Steve Irwin? That's neat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.